everyone, my name is Nelson and I study chemistry at the University of Ottawa and this is my friend Freddy and these are all of Freddy's friends. All these lovely fish live in a big beautiful lake. However, lately, the lake where Freddy and his friends live has been getting polluted with a lot of dangerously toxic chemicals. Why is this happening? Well, it turns out that many big production factories that make things like medicine, food, or beauty products generate a lot of waste which is typically pushed out using water. This water containing the factory's waste is called wastewater, and it's usually not great to look at. This wastewater is what ends up being dumped into natural bodies of water such as Freddy's Lake. Of course, there are water treatment plants that exist to try and clean up this wastewater. They use methods like filtration to remove big chunks of waste, or disinfection, where they add cleaning chemicals just like the chlorine we put in our swimming pools. However, despite all of this, some chemicals in wastewater are very, very hard to remove and still make it out to be dumped into lakes and rivers. This is where some cool chemistry can come in. In my lab, I use a technique called photocatalysis. There are two parts to this word. The first is photo, which means it involves light. It's just like when we think of words like photograph or photocopy. The second part is catalysis. This is a process that a lot of chemists use, and it means to increase the speed of a reaction. So, using photocatalysis, we can use light to help accelerate the speed at which we break apart the toxic chemicals in our wastewater. This is a fantastic way to clean up our water. So, you might be wondering, what type of material can we use to do photocatalysis? Well, in my lab, I use a material that's made up of titanium and oxygen, and it's called titanium dioxide. It is called that because for each titanium atom, there are two oxygen atoms linked to it. Titanium dioxide, like any other material, is made up of protons, neutrons, and of course, electrons. What makes titanium dioxide special is that it can absorb light that has a lot of energy. And this absorbed light excites the electrons in titanium dioxide, and these high energy electrons are what can react with the toxic chemicals in wastewater to break them apart. This is the power of photocatalysis. This type of material is amazing. It can also be used in a lot of other situations, such as cleaning up water in communities that do not have easy access to clean drinking water, which is a big issue in many countries around the world. And all of this to say that we can use titanium dioxide materials to harness the power of photocatalysis, and with some sunlight, we can remove dangerous chemicals from our contaminated water. This is great to protect us from dangerous chemicals in our drinking water, and also to protect our aquatic friends, just like Freddy and all of his friends who live in lakes and rivers. This is why I love photocatalysis. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.